Hi! Welcome to another tutorial and this time we're going to talk about assembly language. So what is assembly language? What is it? Okay, so assembly language is a way of telling the computer exactly what to do as specifically as possible. It leads directly to machine code and this is the most exact method of controlling an existing computer. Uh, all languages end up as machine code with the exception of interpreted ones, which are therefore in less control. So, what's the origin? It is difficult to say exactly who invented assembly language. The language was developed by Nathan Nathaniel Rochester and Stan Pauli, and the language really began to take off in 1949. So basically, an assembly language has, when it comes to access to the processor, it, it is nearest compared to the other um, programming languages because assembly languages is, is as if um, next to the machine language, which is the language of the, the processor itself, which is the ones and the zeros. Okay, so basically uh, when you use assembly language you are uh, taking advantage of it's it's like more of native language to the uh, processor okay so uh, let's go to the next slide so the reason for the creation in 1950s the programs were still hand coded okay to increase programmer activity productivity, the idea of writing a program to interpret another program was a major breakthrough. So the language would be run by the computer and it would translate the memory into instructions. So as a result, the program would have reduced errors, faster translation times, and changes could be made easier and faster. To take a look at an example of a uh, assembly language code and here it is okay so as you can see you have the header directive comment operand label and instruction so basically uh, as you can see here the semicolons these are comments now this wouldn't be read and um, by the compiler uh, because uh, it will this is going to be um, uh, bypass is just for for documentation purposes and for comment purposes okay so the header here and then you have here the directive okay um as you can see uh it's very very technical especially for for beginners and uh the purpose of showing you this is that so that you only have an idea of what a assembly language code would look like okay it's very very technical because uh, what you are trying to access here is directly on the um, could be the registers of the computer or the memory no of the computer directly not like in high level languages where you declare variables and you don't really know where the variables are assigned to in a particular memory okay but here you have a definite and specific way of really um, addressing a particular storage particularly the registers which are the hardware directly your directly addressing the hardware of the computer okay so this is just to show you and give you an idea of what an assembly language code would look like okay so um, where is it primarily used assembly language is primarily used to manipulate direct hardware as i've mentioned earlier access specialized processor instructions Okay, and address critical performance issues because it's when it comes to performance, it's faster in executing uh, instructions because they are directed to the registers, the hardware of the computer right away. Okay, 
And typic typical uses are device drivers when you create an assembly program, um, mainly for if you like to create a, a driver for a device for a hardware or embedded systems like hardwares for, I'm sorry, I'm sorry um, softwares for like for printers. Okay, so these are what we call embedded systems and even real time systems. Okay, so if you'd like to get more information on uh, assembly programming, these are the references. You can uh, follow these references. Okay, and this also. So, NetWide Assembler. Uh, there are actually um, several kinds of assemblers. Okay, one of them is the NASAM or the NetWide Assembler. Okay, they have, you also have, um, there's also TASAM, Turbo Assembler, and so on and so forth. But basically, they are assemblers. They, they use, they are what you call assembly language uh, programs. Okay, so there's also, um, sorry, don't need this anymore. Okay. Uh, reference, quick reference, and so on and so forth. There's a lot of this in the internet. So, strengths of assembly language. The un an understanding of assembly language provides knowledge of multiple different programs, represent representation of data in the memory and other external devices, how a processor accesses and executes instruction, and how instruction how instructions access and process data how a program accesses external devices okay so it really takes a more technical knowledge no when if you use um assembly language it's really really uh not that user friendly but it has its advantages also and that's what I have just mentioned. Uh, for the disadvantage, other dis other advantages of using assembly language are it requires less memory and execution time. Okay, so speed wise in executing a program, assembly language has it. It is suitable for time critical jobs. It is suitable for writing interrupt service routines and other memory. Excellent performance and efficiency. And assembly language gives the user complete control over the system's resources. As I've mentioned earlier, you have, as, as a programmer, you have um, direct access to the hardware. Okay? So, let's go to the next. Okay? The weakness, on the other hand, okay, weaknesses, on the other hand, um, the programmer requires knowledge of how the processor is constructed. Okay, because it is what you call you call that um, hardware dependent. So other types of processor, a particular assembler would may may not work on a particular family of processors. Okay, so because it is um, tailor fitted on uh, the architecture of the processor okay so um it has to be also uh, considered okay so uh that that's why the programmer has to know how the processor is constructed in order for uh, that program that assembly that particular assembly language would work okay there are many uh, next one is that there are many instructions to achieve with just small tasks. So if you can if you compare uh as a, let's say for example adding a particular adding two integers and producing a sum if you compare a code with C or uh, any other higher level language compared to um compared to assembly language, uh, there will really be a lot of lines 
to do that in assembly language compared to lesser lines or just even just one line you can do that in a higher level um computer uh, hi higher level language okay so but with uh assembly language you need uh two or three you know, three lines for that uh next is source programs tend to be large and difficult to follow okay because as in relation to the second disadvantage which is you have many instructions for just a particular task so comp so if you if you will be doing a lot of tasks there will really be a lot of lines for you to accomplish that so there will it's going to be a really really long program okay so programs also lastly programs are machine dependent they require updates and rewrites every time the hardware is changed okay so as an ending no an ending thought on assembly language assembly language is most powerful computer programming language available because you have direct control over the hardware it gives programmers the insight required to write effective code now learning assembly language is well worth the time and effort for every serious programmer but should not be used by beginners okay so uh this is just an introduction so that you'd have an idea of what an assembly language is and as part of the um course outline or in the syllabus uh for you to have an introduction to assembly language so thank you so much for listening have a nice day bye